Hello, and welcome back to the Darby Creek Diaries. I'm Gail Thompson, and I'm excited to be part of the sweet holiday hop so we can get you ready for the holidays. Check the description box below for the next stop, and I hope you'll consider subscribing, liking, and commenting on everybody's post. Today, we're going to make some sweet and simple polo boxes. We're just going to go back to basics. We're going to stamp like the people that don't stamp think we stamp. We're just going to take a couple stamps and load them on a block and randomly place it on a piece of 8.5 by 11 medium thick card stock. You don't want to really use the real heavy because it makes it hard to bend later on. And just stick it randomly. The kids would enjoy this because it takes zero training or thought. And just stamp away and enjoy yourself. And mistakes really don't matter either because you're going to cover most of it up or probably cut it off. Um, the Catherine Puller inks take a little bit of training because they are very, very juicy. So you don't want to, you just want to lightly tap. You don't want to smoosh into it. You'll have just a mess. I'm using uh, pieces from a Hero Arts gingerbread uh, color layering stamp set. And now I'm using Cup of Joe from the Hero Arts ink line. And see how random it is. I'm not taking any time or thought. I'm just having fun and stamping away. There is no right or wrong, except for that I would leave everything going pretty much the same direction. So you don't have things going upside down. I hope this finds you well and that you are safe and enjoying the holidays. I uh, have, it's just been crazy here. Uh, so I will be out for a little while next month, but I already have four other videos that I have in the can. I just haven't edited them and hopefully I will be able to get those out soon. Now I'm taking a template for a pillow box. Instead, of, I'm sure there are dies for this, but I just uh, have this old school template that I will share on my blog. So don't worry about trying to find one. And I'm just going to cut it away with my scissors. And it takes, you know, very little time and it's not real intricate cutting. And, and I don't mind fussy cutting anyway. I think it's, you know, kind of enjoyable. Now I'm just going to mark the center there so I can see where I want to score. So that does make it a little useful to have a thin template as well as I had a cardstock one to draw around. Now I'm using a pouncer tool and that helps break down the fibers in the cardstock to make it a little easier to bend. Uh, you can get this at any art supply store and probably a sewing store because I think you can use this pouncer to um, transfer a pattern. So I'm just gonna, it's kind of hard to steer it, but I, the important thing is to just break down those paper, those seams there. It's a little wonky on the ends, but paper is, if you, the more you work with it, the more it becomes agreeable. So I'm just gonna score the center and then I'm going to score the flap, which is really hard to see, so I'm going to show you. It's pretty much a quarter of an inch, maybe half inch, quarter of an inch, half inch. Can't really tell, and I have my glasses on. It looks like a half inch, but that's already marked on your template, so you don't really need to, to know anyway. It'll all be there for you. So I'm just going to start making the paper behave. And then I'm going to use a really strong tape. Score tape works great for this. I don't think glue works as easily because then you have to hold it for a little bit. So score tape is the way to go on this one. I never seem to pull off enough score tape. It's either too much or not enough. And I'm going to even up my ends there. And there's the beginnings of our box. Now, all of what I did with the box wound up not really being on camera. So 
I decided I would just do another one so that you could watch how I folded the sides in. I just had it, I was holding it up too close to me. And then when I looked, when I was editing, I'm, I'm going, oh, well, you really can't see. So figured I'd better fix it. This is Chris Moose or Chocolate Moose paper from Dare to Be Artsy. Very cute paper. And I'm just doing what I did with the other one, although this one, you'll be able to see me line up the edges. And see, after you get that paper kind of scored, it goes right in the ends. And there is our pillow box. Now, this is the most important part. I found these new candies. These are sugar cookie Hershey's Kisses. And they do taste like sugar cookies. I thought I would show you. I had never seen these before. And I'm sure you can make cookies and all kinds of stuff with them. Or what I do is just eat them. It's, they, it's really good. I like them. And then there's the hot cocoa kisses that I had also never seen before. So I thought being the good tutorial would include having to try some of these candies for you. So I took one for the team and I tried them. The hot chocolate one, well, to me, it tastes more or less like a Hershey's Kiss. There might have been a faint hot chocolate flavor, but it I don't know. I couldn't really tell, but there's the inside of it, and it, it was delicious. And the I also have a Crunch Santa there uh, that fits perfectly. And of course, you want to put your big things in first and slide old Santa down the chimney there and then fill it in with the other candies. And these hold a surprisingly good amount of candy. Also great for gift cards uh, or whatever little trinkets that you would want any time of the year. Just change your paper up. There is our first filled pillow box. And there's, uh, that's I'm really stuffing this one. I found some mints that I wanted to include. And there is our final project. I hope you enjoyed this project and you will subscribe, come back and see me, comment and like, and stop by all the other stops. Once again, the information is at the top of my description box. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. You stay well and definitely take time to craft. Come back and see me. And I've left some other videos here that I think may interest you. Pretty soon I'm going to be having a little challenge that I would like you to come back and do. Bye-bye.